So, after those difficult ones, we can look at what's good. And, and, and generally speaking, when you, when you divide the horoscope into uh, multiples of three, that could be three, six, nine, um, uh, it's, it's a harmonious influence. When you've got the cross, it's a disharmonious influence. When you've got a triangle, it, it's, it's really, really harmonious. Um, uh, and a trine is a wonderful thing to have. Uh, it's when there's 120 degrees, uh, and it will generally between, be between the same elements. So uh, f a fire trine would be between two fire signs, a water trine between two water signs. And again, the orb would, would tend to be about 8 degrees. I think most people would give 8 degrees. Uh, you could have a trine with 10 degrees. Uh, it might work, you know, but it's, it's like disappearing a little bit in importance. Whereas, of course, if the trine has got an orb of 1 degree or, you know, or 2 degrees, it's going to be really powerful in, in, your, in your horoscope. And... Uh, the thing about trines is, uh, unlike squares, which represent really high energy um, influences, which you're trying to juggle with, trines aren't really a high energy thing. They they're, they're, they're show the harmonious, uh, they're like a deep well that you can draw on continually through your life. A trine is like, a, and a sextile, which is coming next, um, is like a, a, a real blessing in your life. Uh, in astrology, when you're doing consultations, it's a little difficult to explain trines to people because they take it for granted. They think, oh, I've always done that. There's nothing special in that, but it is. It's a special blessing to have a trine. And they're really, when you tune into a trine, or the energy in the trine, you tune into some state of being, which is really quite nice to be in. And in a sense, uh, try and represent uh, happiness in many ways. And you, you can sort of see here that, that Marilyn Monroe has got a, 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 a grand trine. Well, ah, this is interesting. Uh, you can see that she's got Saturn at 21 degrees and Saturn and Mars at 2044 in, a, in water science. So she's got a water trine here, a water grand trine. When the three trines joined up, it's called a grand trine. Um, and uh, so Mars and Uranus are in conjunction, uh, but Mars is pretty much trying Pluto. But in actual fact, if you look at uh, 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 Pluto to Saturn, uh, the orb is eight degrees, uh, over eight degrees. So some people might argue, well, that's too far away for a trine. But I would argue in this case that uh, because they're... Um, because it makes a grand try and it kind of knits the energy together. But um, anyway, that's a water sign, sign trine, and um, uh, they're kind of complicated water sign trines because water signs are so emotional. So when there's, uh, there's this deep well of emotion there, it's always coming up to the surface. So people can get quite sad, uh, but they feel a kind of oneness with the universe with 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 the grand trine and water with a water grand trine in Marilyn Monroe's case uh, you'll see that it's Mars and Saturn are involved in in the trine and Mars and Saturn are, are known as malefics in other words they they tend to give some rather difficult influences uh, and actually Uranus and Pluto are also incredibly difficult planets so so this is a grand trine with very very difficult planets so basically although there will be some great things with that trine uh, there's going to be a lot of emotional trouble connected with the trine, even though it's harmonious. Uh, so it's not a very good example of a trine, uh, because most trines are, are really pleasant to, 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 to have. So that's the grand trine, or, or the trine. 120 degrees, orb of about 8 degrees, unifies different element, uh, the same element, uh, and, and the drives connected with the planets involved, harmonize and work together. It's like a resource that you never, um, you, it never runs out. It's a true blessing in your life. So um, dividing the, um, the, 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 the triangle into, uh, into two, where you, you get the sextile, it's a six, like a six-pointed star, and 60 degrees between signs. So, so you can actually see that it goes, for example, from uh, fire to air, uh, or you could have it uh, moving from earth to, to water, you could have a sextile. From, uh, and that uh, fire and air, earth and water, they, they're kind of harmonious together. 
Uh, and the sextile um, it could have an orb of about four degrees. Some people might give a little bit more. Uh, uh, it's good to use a tight orb if you really want to describe something um, that people can feel. Um, and the sextile is actually a really wonderful aspect because it kind of combines the harmoniousness with the, of the trine with some kind of effort. There's an effort involved in sextile. You have to get the benefit of the two planets in sextile to each other. You have to make an effort. Whereas with trines, you don't make an effort at all. Um, uh, and, and it's harmonious and you make an effort. It's a real, often a real pleasurable uh, result that you get. So sextiles are extremely uh, creative, I would say. Um, and you can sort of see in uh, uh, Bill Clinton's horoscope, you can see that he's got um, uh, the sun at 26 degrees Leo and uh, Jupiter at 23 degrees Libra. So that's a sextile. And he's got Uranus at 21. You, you could argue that's a bit of a wide orb for, 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 from sun to Uranus. But it's like Jupiter gathers it all in together because Jupiter's trying Uranus. Um, uh, so that's a rather nice pattern. And I'll say something about that later. So that's the sextile. Uh, it's the second harmonious aspect. So I've talked about the major aspects in actual fact. Uh, the major aspects are based on the cross and the triangle. And you've got the opposition and the square based on the cross, and you've got the trine and the sextile harmonious based on the on the triangle. Actually, in astrology, there's there's all sorts of aspects. You can you can divide the horoscope into five or uh, make a pentangle or or seven, uh, um, and some people will even divide it into nine, making forty degree aspects. But um, we don't need to learn those right now because it's, it's actually a little difficult to interpret uh, uh, the more obscure aspects. But I've shown here uh, aspects which most people will use. I, I'm just not going to be talking about some of them because you don't really need to know them um, uh, for, 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 what, for when we're beginning here. Uh, so what we're learning uh, in this module is basically the traditional aspects. Uh, ones used by, you know, throughout history in astrology. But just to uh, introduce you to a quick, quickly to some of the other aspects, um, if you imagine aspects emanating from a planet here, uh, there is a, a, a 30 degree aspect. There would have to be a, an orb, a very small orb, about one degree. Um, but th that's called a, a, a semi-sextile, half a sextile. There's also a, a 45 degree aspect. Um, again, you'd have to have a tight orb of about one and a half degrees. Um, and that's half of a 90, it's a semi-square. Uh, and then you've got the sextile, and you've got the square, and you've got the trine. And then, you know, there is another minor aspect called the sesquis square, which is like one and a half squares. Uh, then you've got the quincunx, and a lot of people like using the quincunx. So, uh, the quincunx and the semi-sextile are kind of related. Uh, and the quincunx shows, it's a difficult aspect, uh, which shows difficulty in integrating two different drives. Um, uh, but I'm not going to be covering the quincunx today. And then you've got the opposition, and you've got the second quincunx, you've got the second sesquis quadrant, the second trine, the second square, the second sextile, the second semi-square, and the second semi-sextile. So those are all the, the, the major and minor aspects, and you 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 know you can get into those later as you look at the uh, as you look at the you know different selection of horoscopes. But basically, I uh, in my work and with consultations, I, I I tend to just look at the major aspects which I'm talking about today because those are the ones that people really feel, and uh, they identify with them. 